Hello, and welcome to Scrintle, the playground for the mind. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the various pieces of information that make up your Scrintle boards and documents. These are called blocks, and they can include quotes, paragraphs, lists, images, PDFs, and so much more. And you can create as many blocks as you need for any document or board. So whether you're new to Scrintle or you need a refresher, by the end of this video, you will know how to create a block, customize your blocks, and a couple use cases for when you might want to use blocks in a project. And I am going to guide you through it all so that you can start developing your plans and ideas in Scrintle. Let's start on our desk by creating a text block. To add a text block, simply click Add Text Block in the bottom menu of your screen and start typing. Another way to add a text block is to double click anywhere on your board or desk and a text block will appear. Once I have a text block on my board, I can click the six dots above that block to drag and move it around, to change its color, to create a new document from that block, and I can add a new block directly underneath it. I can also merge two existing blocks by dragging one above, below, or into another. Since Scrintle is a visual note-taking tool though, it doesn't just stop at text blocks. There are many types of blocks you can manipulate within Scrintle. To find all of the blocks, go to the bottom of your screen and click on the plus sign for all blocks. I won't go through every single type of block with you because part of the joy of learning a new app is by experimenting on your own, but I do want to cover a few of my favorites. If you're using Scrintle to take notes on a lecture or a reading, for instance, then you might want to pull that content directly into Scrintle next to your notes so that you're not flipping between apps while you take notes. If you're taking notes on a video, you can choose the video block and then type in your YouTube or Vimeo link and the video will appear directly on the screen. If you're taking notes on an article, you can choose the PDF block and then you can drag and drop or upload a document directly onto your board. There are similar blocks for images, files, web links, and even documents and boards within your own library. To better organize information aesthetically on your board, you might want to add different levels of headings. Once you've added a heading block, you can go to the menu above that block to change the size of heading or the color of the heading. As you're brainstorming and planning, you also might want to add a list to your board. A list block can be formatted as tasks, bullet points, or numbers. And keep in mind, you can always visually combine different types of blocks in different ways to visually delineate between sections of your board. In another video, we cover documents, but it's important to note here that you can drag and drop a block from inside a document onto your board wherever you'd like. I encourage you to explore the many different types of blocks that Scrintle has to offer in your own Scrintle account. Using a variety of different blocks is going to make your note taking and planning processes a lot more efficient and visually appealing. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful. Enjoy exploring blocks and I'll see you in another video.